The new Audi S3 features many new technical highlights. Talking about the engine, the 2 litre TFSI now delivers 245 kilowatt, which is 23 horsepower more than before. Torque is increased by 20 Newton meter to 420 Newton meter. Acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour is 4.7 seconds, which is a tenth faster than before. One important thing is the torque splitter. This in combination with quattro drive results in sporty agile handling. The system distributes the torque fully variable between the rear wheels, depending on the driving situation and the chosen drive select mode. The result is greater agility and stability, especially when cornering at high speeds or driving on low friction surfaces. The shaping of the system is specific for each mode. The driver can choose between six profiles from comfort focus to highly dynamic. A new feature is the Dynamic Plus mode. In this mode, the idle speed has been increased to 1300 RPM to improve off the line performance. Throttle response is more direct and the torque splitter delivers as much torque as possible to the rear wheel on the outside of the curve. And ESC is automatically in sports mode. The S3 also features new wishbones and pivot bearings for a quicker build-up of lateral force on the tires. The highlight are the 19-inch wheels from Audi Sport with performance tires, which have been improved in braking distance and dry handling. The S3 also got new brakes. We now use 18-inch brake discs, which are 4 mm thicker. The bigger dimension on the front axle gives the braking system a higher performance. And the visual highlight is that the internally ventilated brake discs are now perforated. The dynamic driving experience of the S3 is rounded off by an optional performance exhaust system, which delivers an emotional and voluminous sound. The titanium tailpipes are designed in an S-specific four-pipeway, and the spread of the sound depends on the chosen drive select mode, especially pronounced in the dynamic plus mode. The A3 is a very important car to us. It shows a lot of our sporty DNA, our progressive design features, and this is what we wanted to improve. What we did was, of course, working a lot on the architecture. So what you can see is a single frame, which is flatter and wider, sitting very central on the front of the car. What's also really important is that we worked every detail inside the single frame, for example, this L-wings accentuating the width of the car and therefore the sportiness, or the much bigger air vents at the side which are necessary for cooling. This is bringing the car down onto the ground and showing this very sporty feel. The lights are a very important feature on this car because even though the contour is still the same, we completely changed the architecture on the inside. So the eyes or this LED day running light feature is actually sitting higher on top of the rings and showing a lot of detail work in it. For the first time, our customer can actually select up to four different signatures inside there. We have 24 elements which allow us to play a lot digitally and giving you a little bit of a feel that the car is more yours than ever. What you can see on the side is that we improved, of course, the wheels design. So we have a new program with five new wheels, which are, again, very sporty. They look much bigger. The rear end has also a very modern appearance. The diffuser is growing much higher in the proportion. We have the same L wings like we've seen in the single frame, a brand new feature which we've never done before. It looks taller, but therefore we emphasize the sides by implementing an element which is coming from our RS word. So we have the vertical reflex at the side, which is showing also at night the sporty signature of this car. We also have a new signature at the rear lights. This is done with segments and is also showing a lot more progressive design than before. What we can feel is also the modernity of this coming home and living home function, which is also personalized exactly for this model. The feeling inside the car also has changed a lot. We improved quite a lot of design elements. What you can see, for example, is the new shifter or the new air vents or these beautiful inlays inside the door, which are showing the technology and the high-end feel that the A3 deserves.
Here we have the rear axle of the new Audi S3 with the main part, the torque splitter. The torque splitter, as the name already indicates, gives us the possibility to split the torque fully variable between the rear wheels. In the previous model, we had one disc package that was mounted along the cardan shaft and now we have two multiplay clutches and this gives us the possibility to split the torque. We get the power delivered from the engine through the cardan shaft and from the cardan shaft to the bevel gear, from the bevel gear on the crown ring. And then we have two multiplay clutches, one on each side of the drive shaft. We have here in the car now our new drivetrain with a new engine, the seven-speed S-Tronic and the torque splitter on the rear. We get some information of all these parts of the car that is delivered from their control units. So we need the transmission control unit, we have the engine control unit, we have the information of the wheel speed sensors, of the steering angle and of the ESC. All these information are provided to the actuators of the torque splitter. On each side of this drive shaft, we have an actuator that is opening and closing this clutch package within milliseconds. These two actuators are linked together by a private LAN and each clutch knows exactly what the other is doing. We can use it for agilization and for stabilization of the car. For example, if I want to go very dynamic, then we send more torque to the outside wheel that is leading the car into the curve. When we go now to a left-hand bend, we close the right clutch and the torque is distributed to the outside wheel, to the right wheel. If we want to go to a right-hand bend, we send the torque to the left side of the car and leading the car into the curve again. On the other hand, if the car seems to break out for some low friction, we can speed up the inside wheel and get the car stable again without braking. The characteristic of the torque splitter depends on the chosen drive select mode. Here we have a comparison from the comfort mode on the one side and the new dynamic plus mode on the other side. On the comfort mode we have a balanced distribution of the torque between the rear wheels and on the dynamic plus mode we have the distribution mainly on the outside wheel. So this gives us dynamic cornering with less steering angle and tendentially oversteer. This is another big advantage of this new rear axle, the torque splitter.